Hi everybody, I'm back again. Um, just get a sip of my water. I know we're going through a really, really hard time in our world. Uh, we're faced with things such as school closings, having to homeschool your children, stores that are getting depleted of our essentials and us having to wait in longer lines. It's a, et cetera, et cetera. It's a very, very trying time. Very scary. Um, but as the eternal optimist, I really feel that in time, everything will be okay. And if it's not, you can tell me you were wrong. And that's okay too. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a makeup look and it's really not about makeup. It's about making myself feel a little better by looking a little better. Um, I'm not one that um, has to be made up all, all the time, but I do like makeup. I've never really wore it for other people. I wear it for myself. And um, so I just like to kind of do a little look. Not a lot, not big bold colors, excuse me. But just to kind of pep up my skin I put some moisture on it, moisturizer on. I'm sorry I'm playing with my hair, but I haven't really um, straightened it or curled it or done much with it lately, and I get kind of flyaways. So I'm going to put a little bit of primer. It doesn't matter what type of primer you use. Because, like I said, this is really not about showing products, it's about a little self-care for myself and maybe you can follow along even if you don't put on makeup put on some moisturizer massage it massage it into your skin a little under eye cream whatever you do that kind of brightens your day your night And I'm going to try to not make this a, uh, a very sad video because it's, I really don't mean it to be sad. It, I, I want to come on here and be uplifting <clears throat> and just share some thoughts with you. As far as like stores closing, like um, clothing stores and Sephora and stuff like that, those things honestly don't bother me. And I know people that know me well will probably be like, oh, but you love to shop. And shopping has always been a very big hobby of mine. But in times like this, I think back, even though I wasn't around, but I, I've heard many stories from my dad about times when he was uh, a kid and even in the early 70s, when I was a child, I can remember that some stores weren't open on Sundays. And that was just the way it is. If you didn't have what you need, you didn't have it. And I sort of learned through this process of self-quarantine that I don't need to go and buy a new blouse every week. I don't need to go buy some lipstick every week. And I know that's kind of rare for a YouTube video to be talking about not buying, but I'm talking more today about making myself and hopefully making you a little bit more hopeful for what comes ahead. Now, this is not going to be about politics, and if you're going to be putting politics or involving that below, don't bother, because I probably will 
delete that comment. Uh, this is just about life and the, being a human being in the world during a time when we are going through crisis. And we have to be careful, very careful, of what's going on and try to prevent it. This is just a little um, eye primer. So besides washing our hands and self-quarantine, I think for our mental health, it's good that we, or good for us, not to be watching the media 24 seven. To watch what type of media that you watch. Be careful of what channels that you're watching because not everyone is getting or understanding the right information. And if you're unsure, go to the CDC's website. Do your research. Another thing I see happening on social media is that we all hear something and it's like a telephone game when you played when you were a kid where you hear a fact and you have like 10 friends and you keep telling each friend in the ear whispering what that fact was. And by the time it gets to the 10th person, that's not fact no more. It's totally different. The story is upside down, twisted and wrong. And that does happen a lot. So I just ask that if you share information, please make sure that it's true. Um, and I think right now, this, what I'm going to say next might not be likable, but it's my truth, is that we have to keep our opinions of things that are not fact to the side. And we have to uplift each other. If you have a friend on social media and that friend is just, you feel like they're engrossed with every story on every news channel, send them a little note. Don't tell them, stop what you're doing. Just tell them, tell them I'm thinking of you. Send them a funny joke or post a funny joke. And I don't mean to be like, Let's all put our heads in the sand, you know, we, what are those animals, ostriches? I think that's it. I just mean that we need to have a healthy combination of the information that is fact, or factual information, is that a word? And a little bit of humor, if you can't laugh, uh, go give yourself a facial, polish your nails, um, do something for yourself, meditate, do yoga, um, just take yourself away from the world of negativity for just a few minutes a day, and I'm sure that this will help, it will help you. Now I might get somebody who's wondering, you know, don't you worry? Don't we? Of course I worry. But you have to understand that no disrespect to anyone, but I have been a lupus patient for a very long time now. And every few months, two to three, there is a new scare. And what I mean by new scare is that something new might be happening and we have to take tests. So I go through days after the test wondering, is this okay? In my mind, I'm thinking, oh no, my kidneys are shutting down or my heart is bad. My lungs are need some more help. This has been my life. Also has been my life of avoiding people in big crowds, especially when I start to hear people 
coughing and sneezing, I get afraid that I'm going to get some of those germs. And this was way before the crisis. I'm going to get some of those germs and I'm going to get a cold, but my cold isn't going to be like another person that doesn't have a compromised immune system. Their cold will be gone in a few days and mine will turn to pneumonia. Now, it doesn't always happen like that, but it happens a lot for people that are in my position. So having all these scares every few months, I've sort of, not toughened up, but I dropped the cap. <laughs> I have just learned to have hope and hope and love are the number one thing in my life and if someone thinks it's you know corny whatever I say to them live through a, like a small amount of what we're going through now make that your daily life and see how you feel now, the people I am afraid for are the people that are not taking this serious, that are trying to go out and party, people that were on the beaches all during spring break. Until now, thankfully, the beaches are closed. And I fear for people like my husband that he has a job that he can't stay home every day the majority of his day he's able to and I'm so grateful for that but there are times that he's gonna have to go into work and I pray that those are just a few hours and that he'll be okay I fear for people like my dad who's 86 years old who's lived this long, beautiful life, who has survived three heart attacks after being an athlete his whole life. Survived bypass surgery, survived the love of his life, passing away sooner than we all thought survived being a child of the depression all those hardships he's just survived and I pray sorry I pray that he still stays healthy so do I care about myself absolutely do I care about them more? Maybe so. And maybe somebody will think that that's a wrong thing, but I care about my family. I care about my brother, my niece, my sister-in-law, my young cousins that live far away, and my older family members care about them because they've lived beautiful lives and they've gone through a lot especially the older ones and the kind of middle-aged ones too and I care about my community that I have created on Facebook the friends that I have known for many years the family that I've loved all my life I care about them and I care about you and yes I care about myself but us people that have lupus or anything that compromises your immune system we are warriors in this battle because we've been fighting a battle similar to this from day one that we started to feel symptoms of being ill. 
got a little emotional there and I'm sorry but I've always been a person to think about the world before I thought about myself and it doesn't mean that I don't love myself because I do and I love myself more and more as I get older I don't care if I have dark circles under my eyes do I try to cover them up yes I don't care if I have thinning hair. Do I try to puff it up when I can? Of course. Do I care if I'm healthy? Yes. And I'm trying my best to stay home, stay away from a lot of people. I pray every day, but I always have. And I hope that all of you are doing well. And boy, I got too emotional. Just finishing up my makeup. I don't have a lot on. In fact, I didn't even put concealer because I was talking. Let me find it here. Should have been more prepared, but oh well. Sometimes we're not prepared, right? If anything, this whole crisis is teaching us that. And there's another thing that I hope that this teaches us to be more caring toward each other because I've seen a lot of people, whether they've donated money, where they have offered a grocery shop for someone who may be in danger more than them. I've seen people coming together and it makes my heart happy. So I hope when this passes over that we will remain that way to each other and that we will learn that, hey, if I can't get to Nordstrom to look at their new stuff, it's gonna be okay. There's always another day. So I wish you peace. I wish you health. Wash your hands. <laughs> That's the big thing going around. Even Jimmy Kimmel wrote a song to wash your hands. So, as I used to teach my preschoolers, sing happy birthday twice. And if you don't have the time, sing it once. And you'll get a good hand washing. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm back because look, I didn't put lipstick on. Right now my mom is telling me from heaven, where's your lipstick? Where's your lipstick? <laughs> is I, I can't leave the house without a lip color because she reminds me. So there's a little like light pink. Put color on my eyes, a little eyeliner, a little bit of mascara. Just gonna keep my hair like this. And uh, now I feel a little better. When I look in the mirror, I feel a little brighter. So I'll see you soon. Take care and peace. Bye.